Hey, what is up guys? Mixoplex here and welcome to another season breakdown of all the season items. Now we actually hit uh, 118 hours this go around. This season it wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty smooth. Servers were good. Uh, we didn't sink at all throughout 18 hours. It was just a good time on a brig. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure if you haven't, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Consider giving us a like. It would be much appreciative. Uh, and stay tuned for more season seven videos coming soon. So let's go ahead and get straight into it though. Now, with the season, they introduced kind of a more of a summer themed look. Uh, personally, the like the, the normal season set, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, I will comment on it very little, but let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now we have the Baleful Bloom costume one. When you purchased the the pass, you're granted this straight out of the gate. So let's go ahead and start putting these on. Hopefully everyone is enjoying the captaincy update. I gotta say, I, I didn't think I was gonna like this update that much, but it's been honestly kind of nice and I've been really just enjoying it quite a lot. So let's go ahead and get all the different cosmetics on that we can from, uh, from over here. Let's go ahead and throw this on as well. Get things situated for you guys. But hopefully you guys are enjoying season seven captaincy update. I know a lot of people are enjoying it. I know a lot of people aren't as well, but uh, regardless, hopefully everyone's enjoying Sea of Thieves. So here we go. We have the Perilous Sails, I believe they're called. If I'm being honest, I haven't even looked at these at once. Perilous, sales of Perilous Thieves. Pretty good for a, a, you know, a free sale. I mean, honestly, it's got a little bit of tatterness. Has a cool look. It's a one of one. Uh, has a couple of little like shine, you know, shiny pieces on it. All in all, I think this is pretty cool. As for the costume, this has come with the Petal Storm costume emote, which is pretty cool. This is going to be an, a costume emote that'll go throughout all three versions, which is kind of nice. But regardless, kind of cool. I really like it. I can see myself wearing this, you know, in future uh, seasons for sure. So props to Rare. And as for the top flag, well, I'm not going to show those off because whatever, but we will show these off in the box. It, honestly, for me personally, I don't use flags. Um, it's just something I've never really used. But let's go ahead and go through here. We'll take a look at them real quick. Here you got the Perilous Seas one, which kind of again goes with the theme. We're going to try not to fall off here. Kind of cool. And then for the next one. It's basically just like a leaf. Kind of cool. Again, it does go with the theme. We're going to keep this one on just because we're lazy. All right. So that is going to cover the first tier, the first bracket of the season pass. Now we're going to start getting into uh, the captaincy stuff as well. So we're going to put on the captaincy shirt, the hat, and we're going to be equipping the coconut tankard. Now the coconut tankard we already have. So we're going to show this off real quick. Pretty cool. You can see your grog right here, kind of jiggling away. Got a nice little, you know, cut of pineapple just sitting on your coconut. Kind of cool, dude. Uh, again, I love when Rare makes one of ones and, you know, something they don't reuse like a model or a, like a, I think it's called like a skeleton or something like that. Like they're, they're in a way making new things, which is kind of cool. So I can appreciate the coconut. Now we're also going to going to equip a couple of the different items here. We're going to be putting the Beachcombers Bounty Caps in as well as the hull. In full disclosure, though, I will tell you guys, there's a couple of pieces that we are not getting um, from the paid stuff, which is weird uh, because myself and my crewmates, none of us have it, which is really weird. But as you can see here, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and raise sales real quick because we are going to want to check out the cap stand. When you just put the hole on, you don't have a wheel or a cannon cosmetic. It does give this kind of like, kind of like a like a sand like a, kind of like a unfinished wood look, which is kind of nice on both of the cannons and wheel. And as for the capstan, pretty cool. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite capstans, just because it is so unique. And it just looks really, really cool. And here you got the canvas again, kind of going with the theme of just like, kind of like a, you know, like a makeshift kind of just leaves and stuff like that. All in all, pretty good pieces so far. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the courage stuff. Let's go ahead and take off the costume. We'll put on the hat. And I believe it was the shirt as well. I will say, I'm not a big fan of this this set. This shirt, I'm actually a fan of. Uh, for a few reasons, it definitely makes your character pop a little bit more. And the hat, well, the hat is just a little too extra for me personally, but I can understand the appeal. So that covers the first or the second tier of the season pass. Let's go ahead and check out 21 through 30. But I am going to have to re-log here as you can see some of our textures are glitching out. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, so we were able to fix the texture popping. So let's go ahead and check out the next tier. Now in this tier, we're going to have the, the uh, captaincy peg leg, the makeup of perilous seas, and the captaincy jacket. Now I will disclose that one of the missing pieces from this set is the beachcombers bounty wheel. But we do have the bounty sales as well. But again, we're missing about three pieces of this entire set, which is really unfortunate. I've already put a support ticket in, um, but I will not be able to showcase uh, the flares, the cannons and the wheel, unfortunately. So uh, but from what I can tell, they look pretty cool and very unique and they shouldn't be too invasive. Uh, minus the cannons. The cannons look atrocious. But again, until we get our hands on them, I can't really comment on it. But uh, make sure you check out our community tab. Well, I will. Uh, I will give you guys kind of my breakdown of them if and when we do actually get them all right here we have the peg leg now i gotta say this peg leg is kind of crap uh especially with the addition of the pirate lord peg leg look if you're gonna put a peg leg on go beefy <laughs> there's nothing better than the pirate lord peg leg from athena veils uh but all in all it, it, it's okay um again i would never use this <laughs> personally but uh I, yeah i i'm not a big fan of peg legs in any sense so let's go ahead and throw on the jacket Real quick, Courage of Captaincy Jacket. Again, going with the theme. And then for the makeup, we're going to be throwing this on as well. Again, not a fan of most of this stuff. Uh, personally, I think most of the things that I like are from the paid version with a couple of exceptions. But uh, in my opinion, not that nice. Uh, I just I just like shadows because you can do anything with it, right? Uh, it's not, It doesn't have really that much color or anything like that. But... Just my opinion, uh, but it's something I per probably wouldn't use. All right, here we have the Beachcombers bounty sales. And there you go. So we're going to drop these. Drop our sales. Again, going with the theme. Kind of nice. Not much tatteredness to it, but all in all, kind of nice. Now, we, again, we won't be able to show the wheel. But let's go ahead and uh, check out 33. We're going to be checking out the dress, tattoo of Perilous Seas, and the captain's trousers, as well as the figurehead. All right, so now that the sun is back out, we're going to go ahead and start taking a look at the different cosmetics here. We have the, the dress, the tattoo, the pants, and the figurehead. So the figurehead's already been applied to the boat. So let's go ahead and check it out. Pretty cool. I gotta say this figurehead is, again, I love when Rareth kind of think out of the box. Don't go too crazy with it, but this is kind of cool. It's basically like a palm kind of like tied to the to the bowsprit with a little bit of rope. It's a part of a, a rowboat. You got a little bit of a couple of plants here. All in all, it's a, again, it fits the theme. It looks really cool. It looks like a make. This is like something you could watch out of like Castaway or something like Tom Hanks. Like kind of cool though, man. I really actually really like this ship. I don't know why, but it's just, it's different and I could actually appreciate it. Now, if we take a look down here, let's go ahead and throw on the dress. Now, I don't know that many uh, pirates that actually wear dresses in Sea of Thieves. I mean... I gotta ask, does anyone else feel like they're like the everything they do is pretty good in terms of cosmetics, but dresses for just for some reason, just they're not that nice. I don't know. There's something about them I feel like they could improve on uh, for all of our, you know, for anybody who really wants to, you know, throw those on. It just feels like they kind of just drop the ball. I don't know. Maybe one day they'll start to kind of in increase the, I don't know. There's something just missing with dresses and Sea of Thieves. Just, just a thought. Now let's go ahead and take these off and we'll check out the pants. Now, I think these are like budget aristocrat. 
personally. Uh, I don't think I'd use these, if I'm being honest. They do have, like, kind of a gold, like, embroidered in the left side. Like, I just, I don't know. They lack color. I could probably see these to a point, but then I see the red gemstones in the crotch area. Probably just won't use them, just because of that. But, again, you're going to notice this whole time I don't really like the Courage set that much. All right, now we're going to check out this, the... One thing we need to look here is the tattoos. Now, tattoo of Perilous Seas aren't too bad, actually. Um, I gotta say this is probably one of the better ones that they've released since they started really dropping tattoos in the seasons. Personally, I won't be using this ever. Uh, again, I am very much tied to my Bone Crusher just because of the finger tattoos. Uh, but until they added another, I guess, <sighs> tattoo set that has like something cool like Bone Crusher has, I, I'm never gonna switch. But this is definitely not a bad one. Uh, definitely looks like a mixture of a couple of existing ones. Uh, but again, not too bad. Right, so I think that is it for this tier. Now let's go ahead and go to the next tier as well. We're going to be taking a look at the Courage of Captaincy Refined Hair, as well as the Wild Hair. We're going to be looking at Merrick's Jacket and the Costume 2 of the Baleful Bloom. So let's go ahead and take a look at this very quickly. Um, so see here, you can see in the first one, we're going to have both the hats, a necklace, and just our bottom, of course. It's a different color on the bottoms. Uh, we're not gonna have the hat as well. We're gonna have more of kind of like a, a headband with a little bit of a, a flower on top of it. We're, instead of just, you know, the neck piece, we're gonna have kind of like a shoulder, you know, kind of like, like a shoulder piece as well. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Um, I would say this is almost a different variation of the first one, which is pretty cool. Um, again, allowing people to have options if they would like to. But not not too bad. I gotta say that it's I I kind of like both of them. Again, I'd probably use the first one just because I like the hat. But I digress. Let's go ahead and check out the hairstyles as well. Again, my pirate will never have hair. But uh, all in all, kind of neutral hairstyles. Whereas like these are very themed, you know, very very uh, you know like for, you know, daring deceiver. You got all the extra stuff in it, and like the, you got lucky hand that's got the cards and. These are very much neutral and are just, again, hairstyles. They're not really anything else, which is, again, kind of cool. Uh, I could get behind this. And then, again, I like things that aren't just like forced, they're not pigeonholing you into like a certain thing. Like, again, we use another example here Frozen Horizon or, you know, yeah, the Tundra hair. All in all, but my pirate will never have hair because this is my look. I've always had this and I, I can't unsee my pirate, you know, <laughs> with hair. Sometimes I might do it for screenshots just for the memes. But personally, this is what my pirate looks like. All right, for the final piece of this tier, we're going to be taking a look at one of the best jackets in the game. And that is by far, why am I looking at dresses? We're going to be going to the Merrick's jacket. Now, I got to say, we've already built the kind of a cosmetic set behind this. But take a look at this. This is absolutely stunning from front to back. It looks so good. Now, Merrick has been with us since the very beginning of the game, and everyone has kind of wanted his jacket at some point. And now we are get, given this chance. Thanks to Rare, we kind of have like a replica of it. Here's the front, here's the back. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You got hooks in the back of it as well. Uh, now, I'm not a big fan of like these like large jackets like this, but all in all, I'm a, I'm a fan, man. I'm a fan of it, and it's definitely something we can build kind of like a fisherman's kind of set to. Now, if we ever do a fishing stream in honor of Merrick, and even though like I'm not a big fan of where they put him in the lore lately, this is just the look and the vibe. Pretty freaking cool. All right. Now, for the last piece here, we're going to be taking a look at the wheel. The watermelon wheel. Now, again, if we had the other one, I think it would look pretty cool, but... Since we don't have it, this is what we can see so far. This is a watermelon wheel, which has like a shovel, a little bit of dirt. You got like a part of it, like a you know half of a watermelon on this side. And then you have the wheel itself, which is all in all pretty non-invasive compared to like a dark adventure, which is just ridiculous. This is not a bad wheel at all, actually. Very minimalistic, and it looks pretty cool. All right, so that is it for 40 through 50. Let's go ahead and check out 51 through 60. Now, again, we won't have the cannons here as they are missing from our uh, ship set. It, again, I don't know what's going on with that. We already, again, submitted a ticket. Um, so let's check out the seashell eye patch and the boots. 
Now these boots are literally reskinned or not reskinned, but re-released boots of courage, which is unfortunate, but they do look pretty cool. I mean, I, I used to use these back in the day. And then we have the eye patch itself. Here's the eye patch, kind of cool. Um, I pr probably wouldn't use it myself. And here you got the boots of courage. Again, these are not a new item, uh, but pretty cool regardless. They do go with that set quite well. And that is pretty much it. We don't have the cannons, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and go out and check out 61 through 70, where we start getting into things again that we can put on. We won't have the flare as well to test out, which is I'm hoping is good whenever we do get access to it. But let's go ahead and take a look at the splash fight. Eye of reach and the courage of captaincy gloves. As you can see, we already have the gloves on or not the gloves on, but the sniper on Let's take the jacket off. So the gloves do kind of have a weird clipping issue when it comes to like bucketing and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and throw on our sniper here. Now the sniper, I got to say, I'm really not a big fan of. While it does look pretty cool, we already all have a lot of bottle skinned Eye of Reaches. Um, and I don't believe the bottle at the very bottom here actually glows. I haven't seen it glow during the nighttime at all. I don't know if that's like a like a bug or something, but it yeah. I know on my screen it hasn't really glown yet, but anyways, this is it. And here are the gloves. The gloves are actually not too bad. Um, they're very much like the uh, like an existing set. What is it? The parrot gloves where they kind of have talons. So, but they have a little bit of fur on them as well. But all in all, kind of a decent set. Again, it kind of goes with the courage set as well. But I probably will never use them because I like the locked up gloves. Now let's go ahead and go through 71 through 80. Now here we're going to have the collector's figurehead for the beachcomber. We're going to have the captaincy hook and the belt. So let's go ahead and throw on the belt and the hook real quick while we have everything here. Now let's go ahead and throw on all the existing pieces of the set that we have shown case off. Let's go ahead and put on the belt as well. Throw on the jacket, throw on the hat. Let's be a full set Andy. We're going to put on our hook. And the figurehead is what we need to do last. Let's go and check it out. So the difference with this one is it does have a little bit more, a couple of plants, a little couple of vines. And you also see here, we got kind of a lantern on the front of it, but kind of like the vines like kind of hanging from the palm tree. Kind of cool. Um, the lantern I believe does glow at night, so kind of cool. Now let's go up here and I'll show you guys the belt as well. Now this is what the full set is looking like right here. This is the courage set with the jacket. All in all, it is it, def it definitely goes very well together. Personally, I probably wouldn't use it, but if you guys like this set, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm actually curious. I definitely like the like the shirt personally. I like that there's a shirt option, uh, but the rest of it I don't think I never use. Look through the different tiers as well. I think we covered everything through this one. We do have the captaincy beard and the eye patch and we do have the last costume that we can go check out and we'll go ahead and check this out real quick before everything kind of goes away real fast just went on the eye patch so here's the beard that goes with the set not bad not bad actually a decent looking beard I actually like that Eye patch again, kind of going with the set. Probably won't ever use it. Kind of cool. And then we'll check out the costume just before the sun does go down. And then we'll probably showcase the rest of these when the sun does come back up. Definitely has the uh, pe pedal storm emote. Let's go ahead and show this. So one of the things you can notice is when we talk, the the, the mouth actually moves, which is a little weird. But it looks really cool. I actually am a fan of this set, and it's just, it's kind of neat. I like it. Oh no, I think this costume set was pretty good. Unfortunately, eye patches do clip through this, which is kind of weird. So if you don't have a cool looking eye patch, I would really recommend switching it out. Speaking of, let's go ahead and take this off. Oh, so you actually don't. So when I was using this with a ghost eye patch, that actually make it look pretty cool. That is weird, actually. I thought that was intentional, but yeah, Rare's going to have to fix that. There is definitely a clipping issue with these. So Rare, if you're seeing this, might want to check that out. All right, so for the final last tier, we're going to have this new hat that they came out. Now, if you guys can pick out which character, anime character this is 
from or kind of is inspired let me know down in the comment section below it took us a minute to kind of develop this look on on uh on stream but i think it came out pretty good personally i do like it with the beard but in true form to the character uh as best we could with what we uh, have available to us i think it's pretty freaking cool <laughs> but let's go ahead and take a look at the last tier we're gonna have ourselves a seafarer's sun hat which you see is wearing uh the scar of perilous seas and the Merrick sword now you guys know me i'm like a cutlass i love collecting all cutlasses uh, i'm a huge fan of them but before we go ahead and show that off just yet let's go ahead and show the collector sales which are a little bit different um apparently this middle piece right here does glow at night a little bit um, but it's nothing too crazy again most of these ships that at least the, for the sales are kind of lackluster personally uh but that's just my opinion uh, let's go ahead and throw on these scars as well for you guys to take a look at. We got the scar of perilous seas. There's a lot of think of these of like a lot of um, rope burn. It's basically I think with like the the theme or I guess like the uh, the concept was is like rope burn. And then we're gonna pull out the final reward, level 100, available to only the pirate legends. In form is the Mary Cutlass. Now. It is pretty freaking cool. Something completely unique. I love it. It looks good in person. You kind of got like a fish bones on the right. You got a little bit of rope and kind of a makeshift blade. It looks so cool, dude. For those that don't know, I'm a huge Cutlass collector in Sea of Thieves, and I do like some of them. And when they, you know, the fact that they're developing new ones that look very unique, I get kind of excited. So, because uh, I am originally a sword lord, I love sword. And the fact that they're kind of giving us these unique uh, models and stuff like that, I'm definitely a fan of. And again, the rope burns. It's okay. It's a decent scar, but I, I just prefer something that gives me a little bit more uh, of a defining look, more of like a char you know, characteristic, I guess is probably the proper word. Uh, but like, I think my favorite scar out of the whole bunch is probably going to be the Merciless Marauders. Uh, cause it definitely looks like I've, I'm a pirate. I've been through some stuff. I got back scars, front scars, arm scars, you know, I got the whole thing, right? To me, that adds character. So that's going to be it for the video guys. That is the season seven breakdown. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the captaincy update. Uh, we will be kind of checking out a few more different things. Plenty of videos are on the way. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed us breaking down the cosmetics for you, make sure you give us a like, make sure to subscribe, not only for just the videos but we will be doing occasional youtube live streams where you guys can hang out with us here also check out our twitch down in the info section below but definitely subscribe for both videos and potential live streams as well also if you guys could vote on the polls in our community tab we're considering doing shorts i would like to get y'all's input on that uh and you know depending on what the community says uh whether we'll start to do those or not in between uploads. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. We just hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. I've never thought we'd hit milestones like this, but thank you guys for joining, uh, joining us along the ride and just helping support the channel. You guys are amazing and I cannot wait to get more videos out for you guys. So thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Cheers.